it is. There's something that else it's doing. And this year they have fruit. Usually it mm -hmm. takes a few years to well, get fruit, but this year they've fruited. So well, my, my apricot, my peach, and my nectarine all have fruit on them. And they look like they're five-year trees instead of third-year trees. So uh, we can get into the biology and the science of what's going on in that material, right? But as you saw, it starts with the microalgae. And, that, and we talked about how rapidly that grows. But it's, there's something that else it's doing. It actually takes nitrogen from the atmosphere. It takes carbon dioxide to make sure. And it has these little um, cells in there. They're called heterocysts. They can take nitrogen and make amino acids. In case you're not familiar with amino acids, they are the building blocks of proteins and uh, essentially all life. Based on. The microalgae is actually building these amino acids that are amazing that plants can take up directly. So they don't have to actually be converted into something that the plant can take. They're already bioavailable. When the plant takes that in, um, it's like it doesn't have to use its energy to produce that amino acid. It's like you've given it a super vitamin mm -hmm. to help it. And then you get it going, you know, and then it can take it over from that time. Some of them we've seen, uh, the amino acids, they actually help it fight off disease, um, drought, you know, heat, excess heat. It's providing these biostimulants to the plants can help us uh, for all the problems that have to do with the environment. Then other amino acids help the plant generate root systems, mm -hmm. called auxins, um, or growth hormones, AXU. A-U-X-I-N. Um, so these auxins, um, they are growth hormones the plant can use. They're precursors to growth hormones. The plant makes them as it needs them. 